to see this mix of ancient culture and modern striving has been a fascinating experience and truly life-changing. It's an amazing experience to provide a space for, for people who otherwise would never have met each other, would have never set foot in this country, to really get to see it in their way on their terms. I think back home in whatever places people come from, the messaging they get about Israel is completely black and white. And when they come here, they are exposed to all of the gray and all of the nuances and all of the beauty of this place. And they begin to see the country in an entirely new light. I think I have been overwhelmed by the hopefulness of the community here. Open House, Jerusalem, New Spirit, all of these experiences that I have had, the people that I've connected to more than anything, have shown me it is not a closed place and it is not one separated. And hope is possible. I just have been genuinely moved, impressed, and awed by the various people we've met here, advocates, religious figures, people who've chosen to live in religious contemplation or on a kibbutz. It's been wonderful. I'm really amazed at how embraced the LGBT community is here. It's very vibrant. We've learned about the history of the country. I'm gonna take so much of what I've learned back home. A wider bridge kind of fulfills its name. The bridge often between communities in the United States and here is, is wide. But sometimes the bridges between communities here in Israel is even wider. So I think that a wider bridge is doing a tremendous job at just bringing us together having us interact in, in the same spaces so that we can kind of find our mutual understanding. In traveling around the country, I find a similarity to the experience of exploring self and gender identity. It's complex, it's varied, it's different in different places and different times, and that's exactly what I found here. When we, as transgender people, find ourselves and can express them freely and openly in whatever culture it may be across the globe, we bring our power to that community. I know that is happening here. I see it in the power that is around me right here. And I cannot thank you enough for being who you are and doing what you do to change this world. There is no better way to change hearts, minds, or worlds than to welcome full selves into the discussion, and you are doing it. I cannot thank you enough. I just wanted to tell everybody here how proud I am to join the LGBT community of Israel, kicking off this Pride Week, these Pride Week festivities. And we've decorated the U.S. Embassy on the seaside to show you how much we support and are proud of and celebrate the progress that's been achieved here in Israel. Here's to us for taking chances in our lives. Here's to us for knowing indifferent isn't wrong or right. In the fazerit, anofim ktanim, nachon shabenatayim, kamazenayim. On behalf of both. A wider bridge and the Aguda, the Israel LGBT Task Force. Welcome to 40 Years of Pride. I think what was most incredible about the conference is the realization that the people in Israel are not a monolith. They have vigorous, vigorous debates. They have deeply held disagreements about the role of their government and their role inside of that government. And they have wildly different understandings of how their society should operate. It's important to say that as a politician in this country, I deal not only with the human rights of one group, the gay group, although I'm gay myself and I live here with my partner, but also with the broader scope of human rights in Israel. Each of us, as we try and work for equality for our community, come from the same place. We each share that same journey that started in isolation and became one of self-awareness, eventually of self-acceptance, and hopefully one that allowed us to build families 
and join the community that we see here today. Pride was insane, but I loved it. I've been to Pride in LA, New York, DC, San Francisco. This one was so much better. It's so organic and real. The entire city is there, and if they're not cheering you on from the balcony, they're walking with you. It's magical. It is just magical. I would recommend the experience of a wider bridge wholeheartedly and unreservedly for anyone who attempts to have an opinion about anything regarding the region. I hope that through a wider bridge and through other efforts, more people are able to come to Israel so we can continue to build that understanding and work towards peace, justice, and equality that are ideals that we all share. We tend to give in to caricatures because it's easier and it's convenient. But the truth is that these people can't be caricatured and this place can't be caricatured. It is diverse and it is vibrant and it is filled with people who are yearning to tell the world their story and I am very privileged to have been able to listen to those stories. Thank you.